Welcome to the news now from the Belmont Journal. I'm your host, Mike Crowley, and we are joined again by Lisa Giblerio of the Wayside Youth and Family Support Network. She's also coordinator of the Belmont Wellness Coalition. And today we're talking about underage drinking and your responsibilities under the social host liability law. So Lisa, what is social host liability law? Thank you, Mike. So this is a law that codifies that it is illegal to serve alcohol to anyone under the age of 21. Now, since the mid 80s, it has been illegal for those under the age of 21 to consume alcohol. But what the social host liability does is it holds adults um, liable and responsible if alcohol is served in their home. And this is true, Mike, whether the adults are aware that the alcohol is being served or not. So for example, if you're out to dinner, if you're on the Cape um, and a pop-up party occurs at your house and something goes tragically wrong, even though you were not serving the alcohol, even though you were not aware that alcohol was being served, you were still responsible. Well, so so let me ask, Lisa, this isn't something unique to Massachusetts, is it? Um, aren't there other states that also have social host liability laws? Yes. In fact, about 18 states have some type of social host liability law. Well, um, let me ask this. Um, how how is the law? How is the law enforced in Massachusetts? So what typically happens is that a scenario a situation occurs, it gets reported, the police get involved, and then charges are filed. Um, again, if something should go wrong, if a teenager is hurt, if anybody is hurt as a result of the alcohol being consumed. Well, let me ask, let me ask about marijuana, um, Lisa. Does the social host liability law apply to that? It does, Mike. Um, I asked that question as well, because when the law was first written, it mostly had alcohol as the listed substance, but it has since been updated to include other substances, including marijuana. So have we had cases of enfor actual enforcement in Massachusetts, uh, Lisa? We have. In fact, I did a quick Google search and several cases popped up. Uh, a real tragic one, Mike, where a teenager drowned as a result of alcohol being served. And that family was held responsible. And I should add that the uh, responsibility, the liability involves up to $2,000 of fines and the possibility of a prison sentence. Anything else to add about social host liability law? Um, not anything specific to the law, except for I would encourage parents to talk about this law with their teenagers, talk about the implications of it, the impact of it, discuss together what's at stake if something goes wrong and alcohol is being served. And this should be in, in addition, Mike, to ongoing conversations that parents should have with their kids about drinking, about the dangers of it, the harms of it. Um, I, we always on this show and in other places, the coalition encourages parents to have conversations where they listen to their kids and express their concerns around what's, you know, what's at stake. We know that more accidents happen when alcohol is involved, more sexual assault. Uh, so we want parents to talk about the impact of substances on their teenagers developing brains. Um, and again, the goal for youth is to delay use as long as possible. And then when they do decide to experiment, parents and adults should be really stressing to do so in moderation. And I guess I would add one more Thing, Mike, which is that parents have a responsibility to model appropriate behavior around substances. So they should, they themselves should be uh, drinking responsibly at home. All right, Lisa, thank you so much for um, this important update on, on youth substance use and uh, parental responsibilities under social host liability law. And we will see you next time. Yes, thank you.